Hello, I'm Matt, and I wanted to quickly show you guys what latency is and a quick workaround because this is going to be a problem that could likely plug your classrooms as you're trying to use Soundtrap to record. And the first thing is, is the question is, what is latency? And I think the easiest definition for latency is just the amount of time and the delay when the computer processes audio. And we see that in Zoom meetings when you're trying to play music with someone across the internet and you just can't line it up because everyone's just a little bit behind everyone else all the time. I wanted to quickly demonstrate that here in Soundtrap. And what I have set up is a quick recording of one measure. And I'm going to play quarter notes only. And I want you guys to see what happens when there are latency problems. There's going to be a two measure count in. All right, now as we listen back, remember when I did record, the click was lined up with my quarter note. Let's listen and see what's happening. That is not good at all because they are an eighth note off at this point in time. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is if you're going to do this and you just can't solve it through any other means, and this is again um, a last resort type of way. It's, it's better to solve this through hardware issues and addressing that. But if you can't, the first thing I want you guys to do is to move the selection to one measure before and a little bit after. I'm just going to do a full measure here just to keep it um, simple. Now on that when we hit record again we're still going to record at measure 5 but we have to count one measure of silence. There's still going to be a two measure count off but with one measure of silence. Let me show you what that's like. One, two, three, four. Here's a measure of silence. Two, And what this is going to do is this is going to give us just a little bit of some bleed in case something happens and it just doesn't work out right. Let's listen back. I'm going to start it at measure 5 one more time. And it's way, way off. So as we zoom in, um, whoops, let me make sure I'm on the downbeat of 5. As we zoom in, you can see the waveforms here. And um, my signal's pretty soft, but it, it works for today. And I want to move the downbeat over to where the downbeat really is. So to do that, we need to first click this little magnet that you can see blinking on the screen. When we unclick that, that's going to take off the sticky settings and allow me to drag this here. That looks like that could work. Let me take a listen. And that solved our problem. So I'm going to turn the magnet back on and zoom out. And we have this bleed here. And the reason that this bleed is important because, especially on the tail end, if it cuts it off, um, let's say the recording would stop at me the end of measure six, you would lose the end of that note ringing as it gets um, cut off. So start with a little bit before, a little bit after, and that will um, take care of the issue. One more time, here's our final result. It's at least in time, and that's the important thing. So I hope you're able to use this to, um, to, to solve these issues if they do come up. Just a reminder, we start with recording before and after where we need to. We then will undo the magnet when we zoom in and then move over the section so that it lines up with, with the strong beats. And just listen, and if it doesn't sound right, it, it could be off. It could be a performance issue where, where you or the student needs to go and practice a part more with a metronome. So I hope this was able to help you out. Good luck with Soundtrap, and let me know if you have any questions.